in the studio by social media lawyer Kevin Poulter. So we said $20, but not, no. It's opened $30.40. Uh, incredible. 52% rise already uh, on what was expected, which now values it, I think, at $6.3 billion in value. Um, and they've got, 30, I think, 33 million or so stocks to share. To share to, shares to sell. Shares that's to sell, that's the one. Stocks yeah, to yeah, share. Yeah. And, and it was feared that, that competition would dampen enthusiasm for this, and it hasn't. It's not. Um, it's this sort of halo effect of Apple's coming into the market, Google are coming into the market mm. with various Android devices. Um, China as well getting a bit of the action, and but Fitbit already accounts for about 34% or did account for 34% of the wearables market. And the nice worldwide. thing about Fitbit, to stay with the metaphor, mm. is it's not running before it can walk. In other words, <laughs> profitable before it came to its IPO, which is... Uh, that's right, but the question now is, so what? We, we sold about 21 million devices already, um, 19 million of which have been registered, but only 9.5 million in active use. Yeah. Where does it go from here? People are putting them in their drawers and not taking them out again after 30 days, six months, whenever it might be. It needs to now start to look to innovate. Where's the next stage for Fitbit? And that's what really the question is going to be. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I was looking at this before you came in. Mm. I mean, Apple, for example, um, as well as people shelling out hundreds of dollars, yeah. they found that 20% of the people are buying a second wristband, you know, because it's a different colour, whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of thing, isn't it? And Apple, as you've often said in this programme before, are really great at coming in into a maturish market, aren't they? That's right. And uh, everyone's benefiting. And this, I think this is an example of that. But of course, we need to remember that this isn't a perfect market for Fitbit at all. Forget the competition. Allegations against it from Jawbone, two, two uh, court cases going on at the moment um, regarding uh, various intellectual property yeah. rights and stolen information. Uh, this isn't smooth sailing. And people have seemed to have voted with their pounds and dollars and said, we're prepared to stick by you on this. We believe in you. But where next? You remember BlackBerry, don't you? <clears throat> and uh, it was ubiquitous, wasn't it? And then Apple came in. Yeah, yeah. And, and beached uh, it, basically. And, well, what's happened to BlackBerry now? Yeah. And, and the risk is we end up in the same position. And the, there are certain tech products which are going to do really well. Uh, the GoPro cameras um, doubled its price um, in, in the last year since it, since it floated. Um, there are, there's some great success stories, but it's all about that innovation. It's all about where do we go from here. Do you go home at night as a social media lawyer and think, I wish I'd invented that every day? Do, do More you know, or less. The question is, do I wish I'd invested in this? Ah. And I think the answer at the moment is no. Right. Um, it's seems an expensive price for me to pay. Uh, let's look at this again in a year's time and see what's happening. But for me, this well, is maybe, one that maybe I in a month's time might be more appropriate uh, given the way the tech market works. Yeah, put it, put it in the diary. Kevin, thanks. I will. Thanks, Thank Kevin. You. Thanks very much indeed.